So now that we have uh, the results and of uh, Destiny Press Zero, uh, 04 has sunk in, I guess the obvious questions would be what is what is next? And you've kind of alluded uh, a little bit on the uh, the lower part beyond uh, the her to one plus. My other question, my question is um, as PDXD is still regarded as a chemotherapy drug, and now that we're approaching the world of uh, hormone positive, where the consensus is try to avoid chemotherapy when there's at the absence of a visceral crisis, where do you think PDXD would the best uh, position? Right now, we know that it, it works phenomenally uh, after one to two lines of chemotherapy and several lines of endocrine. Uh, how um, forward or front line do you think it would go? Yeah, no, it's a great question. Um, you're right. We've spent years and years trying to to educate on, uh, oncologists that you know use targeted therapy, use endocrine therapy first, and, and endocrine sensitive cancers. I think that still is 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 holds true even today. This fundamentally works as a chemotherapy. You know, TDXD is is, is taking targeted and potent um, chemotherapy to to the cancer cells, and so mm -hmm. we do want to continue to explore its benefits in the chemosensitive population. And so um, we are, however, going to see uh, as it, you know, it move up into the earlier lines. So uh, as a first line chemotherapy option that's being explored in the Destiny 6 trial. And I think ultimately what we want to do is 